What's up, Cowboy Nation and Cowboy Headquarters? It's your boy G, the number one Cowboy fan out there, coming at you live, direct, and correct with some news that you can use. And I'm sure you all know what's the latest. So let's talk about it. Anyway, before we get into that, I want to say thank everybody for subscribing to this channel. Uh, uh, thank for all those that are following this channel. I uh, hope you guys have had a great week this week as we move into the weekend. And also, if you haven't hit the notification button, please hit the notification button down below so you will be notified when the next video is posted. And the way things are looking, there's going to be a lot to report. With that being said, so we all know what the topic is going to be about today. Dak Prescott, Dakota Rain Prescott. Will be playing under the franchise tag of 31.4 million. Dak Prescott. Quote. Let me read. Let me let me read from here. I'll read this. Uh yeah, it's um uh, so Dak Prescott has said, I am a cowboy and couldn't be happier. I look forward to working along with Coach McCarthy, the staff, and my teammates to be the best team we can be in pursuit of our goal of a Super Bowl. Hint, hint, Super Bowl. First of all, let's ask the question, why would he say, I couldn't be happier? True. Being a fourth round draft pick, you know, and making thirty one point four million in one season is great. But if you ask any football player, they would probably decline to play on the franchise tag. They would rather have a a, a contract than a franchise tag. And let me explain to those that. And I think we talked about this the last video, but let me explain what that means when you're playing on the franchise tag. What that means is that you're going to get a big lump sum of money for one season. And it's going to be a hefty, hefty uh, size paycheck, which is the good thing. The bad thing about that is you have to play that whole 16, 17 games injury free. Okay. Send them a that's what that means. Injury free. Sure enough, yeah, there's such thing as sprained ankles, um, twisted wrist, you know, uh, small injuries like that. You can bounce back. But you have to also consider those those games that you sit out are games that you cannot perform. Those are games that you cannot. Uh, show your coaching staff and the owner what you're actually really worth. So he said that he's happy and he looks forward to working with the team as they pursue our goal to a Super Bowl. That's the first time I've heard that. I'm talking about the Super Bowl. And you know why he mentions the Super Bowl? Because he knows in order to get the big payday, you're going to have to perform. Basically, that's what that ball that that boils down to, is you're gonna have to perform Dak Prescott in order to stay on this team. Cause after this season, brother, anything can happen. Which also means Pat Mahomes' contract meant absolutely nothing for Dak Prescott, and it shouldn't have. It shouldn't have meant anything for Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has not done. The things that Pat Mahomes has done. On last year, Dak went two for six against 500 teams. It's the truth. And I'm not hating, man. It's just I hate the fact that Dak passed up 
the five year, and I'm gonna get into the five year contract that was still on the trade table. And also, I fit. They just, I just uh, found out that there's been reported that there was another contract on the table. But, um, Dak, you're not going to get. Now, here's the deal that I heard the reason why that he didn't want to take the five year contract because due to the fact of the CBA, the Collective Bargain uh, Association, um, do. Um, well, let me say it's possible that the salary cap may go up on next year. Also, with that being said, that these uh, promotions or these endorsement will probably end in 2022. So that could hurt. So you're saying that because the salary cap might, we don't know, but it's a possibility that the salary cap can move up in the next year or two, along with these endorsements might end by 2022. This is how we based on why we don't want the five-year contract, which the contract basically boiled down to 175, what was it, 175 million? That's 35, that's 35 million a year. I don't get it. But so that's why they were shooting for the 40 million, uh, you know, the high for the, the low third. I mean, the high 30s, the low 40s. That, that's not going to happen, brother. Based with this contract that you was going to sign, what base would have put you right there with Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson been in the league a lot longer than you. So personally, man, I really think his agent really did him bad service. I really think so. But, uh, again, you know, it just, it, I'm I'm baffled. I'm baffled. Yeah, and some of you guys might say, well, no, he needs the four-year deal. Well, look where we are now, guys. Because basically what could happen from here is that could perform. That is going to have to perform and actually get to the championship in order to get a con a, a, a extended contract, he might not have to make the Super Bowl, but he's gonna have to at least lose in the championship. That's a bad position to be in, man. And the reason that's why he's saying that you know, as they pursue uh, uh, pursue their goal of a Super Bowl, because he know he's gonna have to perform. And let me say this. <laughs> And I can truly say this, but the day, the days of the the uh, big payday for 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 stats are over. The big paydays for stats are no longer on the table. It's all about Super Bowl or bust. In order to get the big contract, that's just. And, only other person I've seen that that went up under this franchise tag and basically did good was uh, Kirk Cousin. You know, he did good. And maybe that, that could happen to for Dak. That may could happen for Dak, being up under McCarthy. But it's just the fact that there was a contract on the uh, table that he left. So we know that he will make $31.4 million this season. And if they decide to tag him on next year, he will make $37.9 million, $37 million. So, I mean, that's, that's good money. But it's like rent a, it's like rent a quarterback. I'm, we're going to rent the quarterback. It's like you rent a car. You know, you rent a van. You rent an apartment just renting it ain't yours but we're just gonna rent it till we get ready to find something that we we actually because you don't buy anything unless you like it and even demarcus ware said that you know um about jerry jones <laughs> you know as far as paying or not paying okay if he like you he's gonna pay you if if, if he needs you he's gonna pay you if he does, and I'm just I'm I'm paraphrasing, but I remember hearing this, something to this phrase. But and if he, if he doesn't, he's not. So you know, 
it just makes me, makes me wonder. And I'm going to ask you guys this. So who won this negotiation? Did Dak win this negotiation? Or did Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones win this, this negotiation? Who do y'all think won this negotiation? Basically, both of them, I don't know. Personally, both of them lost, lost out on this here uh, negotiation. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, there was a report also said that there was a deal on the table that averaged uh, a value of 35 to 35 million with 110 million guaranteed with a 50 million signing bonus. This was just reported. I was just reading on this. They said there was a source that said that was reported that there was a deal on the table. Listen at this. That averaged the value of 35 to, I mean, 33 to 35 million with 110 million guaranteed with a $50 million signing bonus. And you ask why? Okay. And you ask why? So you say, well, what, what happened? Why, why, why he didn't sign it? Why he didn't sign it? It is told that he ran out of time. Time had expired. Dak, you such a nice guy. You are such a nice guy. I'm a cowboy and I couldn't be happier. See, that's what got you right here today, man. It's due to the fact that you sat here <laughs> and you said, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it right now. I'm looking to do the work with my team and we'll, we'll talk about the contract when the time comes. That's why we're here right now, brother. So, but they said that Dak wanted to take this. He wanted to take this contract. But they ran out of time. That don't happen, man. Hmm. Dak, Dak, Dak. Man, you my dude, man. But dude, oh my gosh, who is your... Oh, it's Todd France. Todd France is his agent. He also has the uh, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, uh, Arnold, what is his name? Donald Arnold and uh, uh, Fletcher Cox. Those are some of his clients. Uh, he got over one point five billion dollars in, in in contracts out there with his, all his clients. I think he got like eighty three clients or something like that. But uh, man, he he screwed the pooch on this one here, man. He screwed the pooch on this one. So we know what's, what the future holds for Dak. Dak, for this season, Dak will definitely be under the microscope. Dak will be under the radar, and they're going to watch everything that Dak does. Dak cannot come out 0-3. Dak cannot go finish this season 8-8. Eight eight. Dak cannot finish this season 9-7. Dak cannot finish this season he can't do. I mean, it, 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 he has to be over five hundred. He has to, and maybe I'm wrong. But I say this because it's not guaranteed that they have to tag Dak next. They can actually use Dak for trade bait next year if they wanted to. You know, I'm just saying. wife trying to let down the garage and for some reason every time she lets it down it wants to go back up i think the garage just don't like her so anyway y'all i'm i'm come on man y'all 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 help me because i'm telling i'm like i say people say me you be hating on that i don't hate on that Dak. Dak is family you see that i'm family so it's like when your little brother you you know when things like this happen i'm i'm concerned there's no bigger Cowboy fan than me. You understand? 
I'm been I've been a Cowboy fan since the time they were selling. You see, y'all probably don't even know nothing about this when they used to sell the uh, Dallas Cowboy posters, roster, no, the posters, the team posters at McDonald's. And we used to have my granddad used to buy them, and he hung them all the way and had every poster from '72 up to during the 1980 around the whole uh, den where we used to watch the game. So I've been a fan a long time, and can't nobody tell me, Gary, you a hater or you 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 not on you know not on board. I'm concerned because how do we let this happen? Because I'm gonna tell you something, you know. I just <laughs> Jerry, them man. I'm saying I think they want a negotiation. Cause you gotta remember, Andy Dalton is on on the sideline licking his chops, man. Andy Dalton is sitting over there just waiting. And if they wanted to, they could make this a competition. Okay, Dad, we could pay you 31.4. Come on, uh, Andy, let's see what you got. And then we know we got that other kid we picked up from uh, James Madison. Forget his name. From James Madison. They can groom him. Now, I heard this. Who? I heard this. Someone, it was reported that someone said we should have passed on Trayvon Diggs and got Jalen Hurts. Oh, we would have got him for cheap. If we'd known he was going to run run that low in the, in the uh, uh, draft pick, we could have kept Trayvon Diggs, but we could have got him late in the rounds. Then you got another cheap quarterback, which Jalen Hurts is not bad. And like I said, I'm not trying to get rid of that, but man, we got to be realistic about this. The, the possibilities of what could happen. But anyway, that's where we are, guys. Dak would play under the franchise tag. We had them, we thought we did a 180. We have did a whole 360. Right back at point A. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> like I always say, don't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. Somebody been sleeping on this one, Jack. Somebody been doing some sleeping and ain't nobody paying attention. So, how in the world are we going to make something happen, Captain? Come on, Captain Dak. You fumbled the ball, bro. Anyway, thank y'all, man. And make sure you get a chance to follow us on Facebook called The Information Booth. On Facebook, uh, I, I will post this same video on that page as well, and we'll do some uh, updates, and we'll do put more information on that page about our quarterback. So with that being said, y'all take it easy, stay safe, practice safe distancing, and wear your mask, man. Be coughing all on folks, sneezing. Stay in the house. If you go somewhere, be careful. Deuces.